Ian, it's a disappointing result on a Tuesday night. How are you feeling after that? Um, obviously, it's, um, it is disappointing. Um, it wasn't something that, that I expected, but obviously you've got to be disappointed. But you know, we haven't got time to, to feel down. We have to accept what's happened, learn from what's happened tonight, and we've got to make sure that we train hard on Thursday and, and put it right for Saturday. Uh, it's the only way in football you can. You can feel sorry for yourself for a long time, but as I say, disappointing. Um, felt we gifted them some goals tonight. Um, didn't start the game as bright as well. I felt we would do. Before you know where you are, you're 2-0 down. And then I felt we had a spell in the game where we got back into it and started to calm down a little bit. And then we give a poor third and uh, a deflected fourth goal. Leaves you with uh, mountain to climb second half. Second half was just about making sure that we don't um, capsize really and uh, you know unfortunately we've, they've got the fifth just more towards the end but I felt second half we, we, we coped a little bit more in terms of uh, the way they played um, we got to grips with it a bit more uh, but unfortunately we've been we've been beaten by a good side at the end of the day who, um, who moves the ball extremely quickly um, they've got a great pitch here and uh, you know sometimes we have to accept them things and, and move on and we've got to make sure we're right for Saturday. And Johnny, they put five on us. Didn't feel like a five nil from where I was sat. How was it for you? Did it feel like that kind of game? Yeah, I think you have to be respectful of the opposition. They're a good side. They well beat us tonight. You know, I think we can look at it at four nil at half time and say that we've shut up shop, defended a little bit better second half, but the game's done at four nil. The game's done at three nil really. So um, we need to respect the opposition we're playing against. It's disappointing because I think if we won tonight we're almost level on points or something very similar with them. So we've been competing all year. Um, so to lose like that's disappointing, it's not acceptable. And we, we know that as a group. Um, but like the gaffer says, it, it, there's no point dwelling on it. We've got an honest group of players. We've had setbacks already this season, which we've bounced back from. Um, so it's important we do the same again for, from this one. And Ian, you changed shape at half time and that seemed to create some sort of positivity from that. Do you think being able to shift that is a positive sign going forward, sir? It is, but as Johnny just said there, you know, I felt um, second half they, they'd done their job in the first half. It was always going to be difficult second half to come out and try and get something out of the game. Um, it was just about really not being, getting beat too heavily, so the confidence didn't um, wane too far too quickly. Um, but the shape definitely helped. Um, it allowed us to get an extra man in the back, in the back f five, really back three, the way we played second half. Um, but their shape first half causes lots of problems. We probably never had the personnel on the park to, to change our shape in the first half. So we, you know we waited to half time. Um, but as we said, uh, you know at, at four nil, the good job's already done. And uh, as I say, we have to we have to accept it and we have to move on. And Johnny. A lot of the same faces behind the goal, save the ones who came down to Chippenham a few weeks ago. How important is it that those fans keep turning up and stay behind the side, even when we're getting results that don't go our way? Yeah, it's massive, and I've got no doubt they will. You know, Every, since I've been at the club, they've backed us 100%. Um, you see them; they travel in their numbers. The home games the same. The attendances have been amazing this season. Um, makes a massive difference. Disappoints us when we can't deliver for them. Um, all we can try and do is is make sure that future fixtures they get more to shout about, more to cheer about because they certainly deserve that. Um, no one at the football club deserves to be beat 5-0. It's on the players, it's on us as a group and we need to take responsibility and, and make sure we learn from that. And Ian, this makes Saturday a really big match to go out and get a result. We've hosted Braintree once already this season. How important is it for you that we go out and put on a great performance? I think I think it's important for everybody that we have to put on a on a performance. Um, as I said before, you know it's all about picking up points at this stage. Um, we've still got 18 games to go. We've got a hell of a lot to play for. You know we've had a we've had a great season to date. Um, apart from you know a couple of hiccups over the last few weeks, and we've got to stop having these hiccups. You know we've got to be performing to a level week in week out, week in week out. Um, I don't want to make excuses. Um, at the end of the day, we haven't been good enough. You said about the supporters. I think the supporters have been outstanding this year. I've said it from week from week one to where we are now, uh, and I'll apologise to the ones that have turned up here today because I didn't think our performance to the level it should have been. 
But we have to obviously take stock of where we are. We have to have a look at the players that, that, that you know have played again tonight. We've had two games against two full-time sides over the last over the last four days, five days. Um, Ebbsfleet didn't have a game on Saturday. They've come into it fresh. They look sharper and brighter than us from the very first whistle, and uh, we never got to grips with that. So, as I say, they're things you have to take in this league, um, and then we have to learn from it and move forward. And, and you know, hopefully Saturday we can go and get three points and take it forward to Concord on Tuesday night. All right, thank you both.